asked the city to change the body cam for years, and we've asked the. There's uh, a firework. Uh, and we've asked that they create an independent police review board. The only thing, the only thing that is going to solve this crisis of police shootings is that we have to have civilian oversight. And civilian oversight means that it is the residents and the citizens of this city that oversight APD. That we look at what they do, we investigate how, what their policies are, we investigate when they hurt somebody, we investigate when they kill somebody, and we hold them accountable. Because as it is right now, they hold themselves accountable. Nobody holds APD accountable besides APD. I do want to give a little bit of an education when it comes to what oversight looks like right now. So when APD kills somebody, they collect evidence, and then they give it to the Office of Special Prosecutions, which is a state agency. It's part of the Department of Law. But do you know, OSP does not actually collect evidence. They use whatever evidence APD gives them. So the people who killed somebody get to decide what the evidence is. And then on top of that, when you look at OSP, they have never criminally charged. They have never criminally charged an officer with uh, uh, criminally, found them criminally liable for a killing. And even the state troopers that they charged the assault for yesterday, that is the lowest level of assault you can charge somebody with. They tased that man, they attacked him with a dog, they put him in the hospital, and they charged him with a low, they charged the troopers with a misdemeanor. If anybody else in here attacks somebody with a dog, tase them, broke their shoulder, put them in the hospital, that is a felony and you would be going to prison. That's right. Nobody here controls the police. The police control themselves. And then what happens is you have these politicians, Democrats, Republicans, it doesn't matter, who are vying for the police union endorsement, which I don't know how many of you saw the police union statement today. Yeah. Do you know what the president of the police union said of the six officer involved shootings in the last three months? He called, he said, tragedy, in tragedy, there's an opportunity. No, one second, one second, sorry. Like here, I was shot. No, 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 sorry, 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 one second, one second. And so, 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 what we need to do is that we need to keep demanding civilian oversight. Yesterday, when LaFran, Mayor LaFrance and Chief Case gave the proposal for oversight, everything that they described is what an independent police review board does. They are so scared of, indep of an independent police review board, they will do everything they can not to have it, because the minute we actually have an independent police review board, and people who live in the city have the opportunity to actually look at what the police do, it's over. Because we're seeing it right now. Even including battle. Yes, all over this state, law enforcement gets away from killing people all of the time. Yeah. And so we have to stay strong. We have to organize with families we have to reach out to communities and we cannot we cannot let them try to appease us with basically crumbs of nonsense that yesterday the mayor said oh we need to have a conversation we've been having a conversation for the last four years she just hasn't decided to participate until now and not because she wants to because she's been forced to you had six police shootings and the mayor doesn't come out and say anything until yesterday because they killed a child that's it. These people are cowards. They don't care about us. We're going to make them care about us. Because when she's up for election in three years, good luck. If you want to have harmonious meetings at the assembly, work sessions, whatever, you better start doing some damn things fast. We will shut this city down. And I just want to end because we're going to go to March. I just want to end with this. A lot of people have been saying in the press, in the news, it's not, a, basically, it's not okay to be angry. It is absolutely okay to be angry. That's right. If the city, right. the city, the government, your local government has shot six people and killed four of them, including a child. The most reasonable thing to do is to be angry right now. Not only is it the most reasonable thing to do, you have a civic duty to be angry right now. Not only is it a civic duty to be angry, you have a moral obligation to be angry. Yeah. They kill the child, they're killing us. They don't get to, they don't get to do that without a consequence. 
That is the, the consequence is that we get an independent police review board. Non-negotiable. Nothing less. What do we want? Justice. Where do we want it? Now. Where do we want? Justice. Where do we want it? Now. All right. So I have to get a little safety brief before we go to the if uh, we're going inside the street, we're going to go on the street. If you're parking a car and they're upset, just apologize and say, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. We'll be out of your way soon.